Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so for today's Saturday session, we are here in the lovely Queen Elizabeth Country Park. Uh, and I'm here to do today a space trail. So it's a scale solar system, uh, which they've set out in the park, and I'm gonna walk it. Let's have a look at the map quick, shall we? So this is uh, the lovely map they've given us. Now we are here in the park center and the sun should be here, which is somewhere over there in that corner. So we're gonna have a look at that in a minute. We're gonna walk along this path here to the inner planets, and then we've got Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Um, so as you can see, it sort of goes in like a loop. So it's not scale in terms of has the crow flies, but it's scale in terms of on the path that we're on. So let's go. So no sun, it's supposed to be in that corner over there, uh, but that's fine, we'll crack on and uh, hit our first planet, which actually is right here, Mercury. So here we go, we're at Mercury. So you can see uh, 58 million kilometers from the sun. And we're gonna head off in this direction here. Mercury, of course, with an average surface temperature of 167 degrees. There we go. As we crack on now to our next planet, which isn't that far away, actually it's right here, Venus. Let's have a look at Venus. Here we go, Venus, 108 million kilometers from the sun. Of course, at this scale, that is nothing. And what we do when we're finished, actually, is we'll uh, work out the scale of this based on how far I figured out on my watch in between each planet. And Venus, of course, the great fact about Venus is a day on Venus is actually longer than a year. That's right, it takes longer to rotate on its axis than it does to go around the sun. Imagine a working week on Venus. Okay, here we are, here we are. It's home, it's home. 150 million kilometers from the sun. We've obviously got Earth, beautiful blue marble. Let's crack on to Mars again in this scale shouldn't be that far I can see it already and here we go Mars 228 million kilometers from the Sun uh, we are at let's have a look uh, we are at 20.27.27 kilometers so 270 meters to get to Mars that might be slightly off because of the start but we'll work it out at the end and the most amazing fact about uh, Mars of course is it has the largest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mons, absolutely dwarfs uh, Everest. Let's go. So according to the map, we should come to the end of this little path in a minute, and we should see our next planet, which is, of course, Jupiter on the right. Now, it's not the best map, so we'll see if we can find it. It should be coming up any minute. Now we should see it as we're coming up this little track here. And there she is. There she is, look. The map worked. So we're at Jupiter now. And the watch has just clicked over to 550 meters. And of course on our scale, that's nothing. But in reality, Jupiter is 778 million kilometers from the sun on average. And of course, the big red spot on Jupiter, which is a, a giant raging storm, could engulf three entire Earths. We're talking a huge size of Jupiter. So we're talking 180 meters there. That was 180 meters to get from Mars to Jupiter. So let's see what the distance is to Saturn. No sign of it yet. We've been going for 55, 270 meters. It's gotta be somewhere. I found it. I found it. It's not even on its own pole, it's just stuck here. 889 million kilometers from the sun. We're at 900 meters. So that took us 350 meters to get there. So there we go. Saturn, beautiful planet, lovely rings. 
with an absolute buttload of moons, which of course Jupiter does too. Now Saturn takes a whopping 29 years to orbit the sun. Quite incredible. Imagine living on a planet, obviously you couldn't live on Saturn, but imagine living on a planet that takes 29 years to orbit the sun. Okay, we're off to Uranus. This should be a little bit of a trek. We're not even a kilometre done, and we've already done the first six planets in the solar system. This does not sound like a national park. The A3 is just there. I think this is the closest point to, to the A3. So we're off to Uranus. And I think if you ever do one of these things, it's quite eye-opening because those four inner planets were so close together, you know, literally within a, a couple of hundred meters of each other. And now that we're out in this outer solar system, it's much further. So let's see how long this one takes. We're at 900 meters. It'll be interesting to see where we're at when we hit Uranus. Let's go. This place is actually beautiful. Um, Queen Elizabeth Country Park. I come up here to do a lot of runs. There's some lovely footpaths. The woodland itself was planted in around the 1930s I and mean, it's 1,400 acres of just wonderful woodland and trails and mountain biking trails. It's just a beautiful place to come and walk actually and run. And of course it's the home of Butzer Hill, which is one of the highest hills of the South Downs, almost a thousand feet. On a clear day, you can see Isle of Wight from there, but not at the bottom of the hill because Earth is a globe and it's blocked by curvature. And of course, the South Downs Way, which is a 100 mile footpath, goes straight through Queen Elizabeth Country Park. And if you're ever brave enough to do the South Downs Way 100 Ultra, the first aid station will be nestled quite nicely next to the uh, visitor centre. Oh, out of the mud. <laughs> So according to the map, Uranus should be on this corner as we hang a left. So let's keep our eyes peeled. Is that it up there? Maybe. Looks like more of a bigger sign than what we've seen before. We're currently at 1.46 kilometers. So we've done 560 meters since Saturn. Uh, where are you, Uranus? There's a joke there. Got to be on this corner. Got to be. Somewhere. Ah, yes, so here we go. The Staunton Way is something that I will be walking for this channel. Uh, it's a 20 mile loop. So at some point I'll be doing that. Okay, let's find you, Uranus. Let's find you. So it's definitely not on there. There's no way around here. So on this corner, the map said it's on this corner. I'm starting to get a bit worried now because I've not seen it. Uh, oh, there it is. I found her. I found her. Here we go. Just past the corner, actually. Naughty map. And of course it is Uranus. A whopping 2.869 billion kilometers from the sun. There she is, Uranus, of course with an axial rotation of almost 90 degrees. So it sort of sits on its side. One of the poles is facing the sun. And here at Uranus, we are at 1.61 kilometers. So we have done 0.7 kilometers to get here. So that tells you a lot, considering that all of the inner planets were all well within 700 meters when we started. Right, let's get to Neptune. Okay, so here was Uranus. So that was on that corner. So we've got to follow that path and then hang a left, and then we get to Neptune. Perfect. Why are maps so cool? Love maps. I've got a uh, ordnance survey puzzle book. i been doing some of those puzzles for the channel. I think that I think that'd be awesome and fun to do, but uh, some of you might not think so. Okay, that's not the left that I've got to hang. I'm sure of it. We keep going along here. I think that was too soon to go left. Okay, we've just clicked over two kilometers on the watch. And I think we're about halfway now to Neptune. So I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not 
a massive distance for walking, but it sort of is when we're talking about a scale solar system. Obviously the planets on this solar system are not to scale their sizes, but the distances are. And I think we'll be able to work out that scale when we're finished. Hi sheep. Okay, this is the left we've got to hang. So we're gonna go left here and Neptune should be just up here. I reckon a couple of hundred meters, we're at 2.26K now. And here we are, 2.55 kilometers away, Neptune, which of course is 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. Whew. We made it, 2.55 kilometers, so we can work that out. So all we've got to do is take our total distance in reality, which is the 4.5 billion kilometers, and divide it by the 2.5 roughly kilometers that we've just walked. We've got a scale factor of one to 1.8 billion. In, the, on, in theory, in honesty, it really is a pretty small scale model. And the, the thing that, I, that has totally, I mean, I knew, of course I knew that the inner solar system is much smaller than the outer solar system. But when you actually walk it and you experience that, those distances, I was done with the inner planets within a minute. And these last four planets have taken another 38 minutes. It really does give you a sense of the sheer scale of our solar system. So I'm going to uh, keep going and head on to the South Downs Way now. It's just a short bit of walk to the South Downs Way. And then I'm going to turn left on the South Downs Way and follow that back to the centre. wonder how far we'll get out of this walk. I've just popped onto this little path uh, which runs alongside the main track in the woods. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's just the most amazing place. I mean, look at this woodland. It is gorgeous. It really is. All this moss covered ground are absolutely stunning. So I'm going to follow this now all the way to the South Downs Way. And then as I said, I'll turn left. Oh, it's the most wonderful place. You should definitely walk here more often. Look at that. Amazing. It's, it's genuinely like you're in a different country. Like that is not woods in England normally for me. Beautiful. So here we are on the South Downs Way now, and we're going to follow that down there. Okay, we're just getting back to the visitor centre now and the watch has just clicked over four kilometres. So for the Imperial, um, Imperials amongst us, that's around two and a half miles in total for the walk. Really, really enjoyable that, loved it. There'll be way more walking stuff coming up on the channel in future. I've got loads of ideas, some crazy ideas, some cool ideas, um, walking different public rights away and things like that. So if you enjoyed this one, please do let me know in the comments. Um, it'd be really appreciated and of course if you haven't watched before and you like this sort of stuff please subscribe otherwise I'll be around on a Friday debunking flat earthers and a Tuesday looking at other conspiracy theories thanks so much for watching this Saturday session it is appreciated of course I'm gonna go to the visitor center sit back and have a coffee and a sausage bun see you next time <laughs>